and in this video I build a Japanese inspired interchange. Now you may have seen there from the cinematics at the end there there was a little Google uh, Maps view of the interchange that in question. So uh, I think it looks similar there are obviously some blatant things that are wrong like some of the size is off and the roads don't line up perfectly and some of the obviously the road markings are different it's close. So this interchange is based off a obviously an interchange in Japan. It's near Sagimahara, Japan. I mean, I probably butchered that, but that's what it is. And this is a basically a toll booth interchange, which allows regional roads to attach to the highway. So this start bit is the quality is a bit less because it is taken from Twitch and I can only stream in 720p on Twitch so the quality is slightly less uh, the quality increases about seven minutes into the video the quality increases to 1080 but at the moment I can't stream in 1080 I would love to but my internet is so bad that it's just not gonna happen so in this stream I, I get the general layout of the interchange down but I do ha have an issue because Japan in Japan they drive on the left and I was stupid and didn't change the traffic to the left hand side of the road so what I ended up having to do was use only one-way roads so that I could trick it this into looking like it was everyone was driving on the left when in fact in the bait in the game on the map they are driving on the right it's a bit annoying I only noticed after I pretty much finished the basic layout of the interchange itself so I would have loved to have done more stuff with the base roads underneath the interchange but it just wasn't possible because of the like limitations that I've put on myself I actually got a um, like a, a Twitter message about saying I should make this interchange. It was by uh, Justin Biradu, Bira, Justin Biradu. So if if anyone else wants to suggest some things, you can send me a message on Twitter. You can even send me a, just comment. I will. I read pretty much everyone's comment and take loads and loads of suggestions. So if you think of a good like interchange or build or something, just leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And as always, all the links to my Twitter and to Twitch are in the description with the mod list and the assets list. There are now three assets lists because there is a limit of a hundred assets per a hundred? There is a limit of a thousand assets per collection. So I'm on collection three. It sucks a bit, but it's the only way to do it and since I've already started I may as well continue just adding on kind of extra collections as I keep adding more and more assets. So as I said this is a, a toll booth interchange and I was thinking I should make a custom toll booth because I've been seeing a lot of uh, custom toll booths being made. Skivs made one in his uh, um, Osaka series also uh, a French YouTuber Nagouch, his link is in the description as well because I don't really know how to pronounce his name but he's been doing some amazing stuff with uh, toll booths and custom roads and it's just all, it's amazing. So I just, I, I don't do a custom one because I felt that this area is so tiny that I have to fit this toll booth in that a custom one in this small area is going to be a bit of a pain to fit in and it works out to look quite nice in this area. I mean, it is a Japanese old booth, so it works out quite well. And we've skipped ahead quite a lot here because all the rest is basically tweaking the roads, making it all perfect. You see here I'm doing a bit of tweaking, just trying to get things into a nice curve. Because the one problem I had was uh, this road I think I'm tweaking at the moment was a bit too tight compared to the real life one and I was trying to just 
bring it out ever so slightly just to improve the like the the curve on it and now the fun part where I add all the decals so in Japan they have these uh, red decals and there they appear like in steps they'll be red then nothing then red then nothing then red then nothing and then they'll be solid red and then again they'll be like red then nothing then red then nothing I think this is indicate that uh, there's a sharp corner coming up so as you approach it you see these red lines flicker and then when it hits the red you know that the bend is pretty much imminent and it's going to be a very tight turn so what I had to do was because this is all raised I could have um, like uh, forced everything to ground and then placed them but I thought I would try something different I'm not sure if it was better but what I ended up doing was uh, placing all the lines and stuff on the that ground and then using move it to raise them up now the reason I didn't force everything to ground was obviously you can see there is a ton of roads on top of one another and it just gets really awkward with how the roads are when they're on top of each other uh, like I said I'm not sure if this was a good idea or not probably not a good idea because it probably would have been easier just to sink them to ground level and do it that way but I got it done that way and it was to see if it worked and it, it works but it's a pain a real pain in the ass. So now we get onto the tunnel entrances and for the actual main tunnel bit I'm using Ronix's tunnel like covers which fit in nicely with this uh, interchange because it's got similar looking tunnels to this and then I add uh, these like seawall assets to the top of the tunnel to like show that the, this is like a bit of concrete holding up the mountain because that's what they have in on these uh, above these tunnels because I assume they don't want rocks falling on them so they've built a protective wall above the tunnel to stop rock slides and avalanches breaking and destroying the the motorway basically and I do this on both sides they are they, they're different on both sides one is uh, slightly like a uh, high so I do this on the other side as well by simply adding exactly the same thing these like a uh, seawall retaining wall sort of thing and it, it actually looks really nice the only problem is that these assets have a weird LOD when you zoom out the like mesh on the front basically disappears and you just get a green like outline-y sort of thing. There's no not like terrible LODs but they're not amazing either and who knows maybe in the future if I'm doing more tunnels work near mountains I'll use this sort of technique where they've got like a retaining wall around the the mountain to protect the road from rock slides and stuff. It, it looks really it looks really nice it looks surprisingly Good. I w when I was looking at the image on Google Maps, I did think that it would be possible to make these, but I didn't think they would look as good as they do. Especially with all the trees and foliage around it to like hide the ugliness of them, because they they can't clip to the terrain because they're they like mess with the terrain. So you got to hide all the ugliness with uh, trees and bushes and stuff like that. So here we have we've skipped ahead where I finished the upper tunnel bit and I added, I've added a lower retaining wall area so I just add this building on the side I believe it is a um, like a sort of a, a workshop or a storage facility on the side of the motorway I mean I'm not 100% sure what it actually is because for one I don't read Japanese so I don't know because on the roof of the building it has words written on the top in Japanese but I'm not I don't know what that means but I assume it's like a maintenance facility or something for the highway or the interchange so now we get on to the bit where I am detailing around the retaining walls just like hiding the ugliness of them trying to improve them now you may notice that I didn't use the right angle ones all the way up on one of them 
I didn't do that because I felt that they would look like these two next to each other would look too similar if I had the right angle piece on them. Not sure it really differentiates them enough by not having that, but it allowed me to put some foliage and stuff in between those gaps to like make it more differentiate. And obviously below on the retaining wall I am adding a lot more foliage and stuff to hide the benches, hide the hide the ugliness. Trees are so good for that, but you gotta use the right trees and just not too many. I mean it is hard to add too many, but you can add too many and it can look a bit full. Like there are points where I've added too many and it just looks a bit off and a bit weird. So I just finish up with a bit of bit more detailing just to finish some of the areas and add a bit more detail. So the areas that add a couple uh, police car assets and some uh, like barriers and I go around the outside of the interchange adding a lot of foliage I add a couple like ponds which in real life is a like a river that flows through the interchange but with City Skylines water it's very difficult to do that so they are three separate pools that are just there they look like they're connected this was a fairly short video a bit shorter than i thought but i hope you got the general gist of how this build went together like i said most of this build was built on twitch and then i subsequently detailed it afterwards i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time